A potential breakthrough to tell you about tonight in the treatment of macular degeneration, a condition that affects the eyesight of over one million Canadians. Embryonic stem cells were used to treat two people with the condition. Both were legally blind. And no, though the treatment was experimental, the results are being hailed as groundbreaking. Our health specialist, Jennifer Tryon, has the details. Seven people in Phil Shore's family are visually impaired and 800,000 other Canadians because of macular degeneration. I'm always frightened that maybe my children or grandchildren could pick up, the, may carry that gene. For some, vision loss is immediate. For Phil, it's been gradual and there's no treatment. But now, new hope. A revolutionary new treatment using embryonic stem cells has restored some sight for two patients with macular degeneration. The hope is, is that by putting new healthy RPE into the eye, we can prevent the progression of this disease altogether. He's part of a team of doctors in the U.S. that transplanted 50,000 cells derived from embryonic stem cells into the retina of one eye of each patient. Both were followed for four months. One patient went from legal blindness to being able to read five letters on the eye chart, the other from 21 to 28 letters. The fact that they can actually see letters when they couldn't is, I think, a huge, huge jump. The drawback is embryonic stem cells are controversial and difficult to access, and science doesn't know yet if they'll always perform so successfully. But Canadian doctors are eager to know the long-term results. I think it'd be fantastic. Once the science is there, I would be glad to use this for my own patients. Phil Shore has adjusted his life using audiobooks and visual aids, but wouldn't blink at the chance to have this treatment. Jump on the table. You would have done it. Oh, yeah. I would do anything to get my vision back. For now, that dream has come true for just two patients in the world, with the promise of more to come. Jennifer Tryon, Global News, Toronto.